Hey guys, wanted to make a quick video on splicing up sprite sheets in Godot just because I ran into some trouble with it, specifically when uh, not using a animated sprite 2D node or a sprite 2D node. So essentially I was in a scenario where I needed to uh, splice up a sprite sheet um, in the same way as I'm about to show. So if you're at all experienced with Godot uh, or not, you may be familiar like from beginner tutorials of um, splicing up a sprite sheet as so. So you'd add a sprite 2D node to a scene, um, you can give it a texture, and then you can go down to this nice region tab and enable it and then edit region. And um, it gives you a really nice UI, which you can use to um, select certain uh, sprites in the uh, sprite sheet. Um, so in this scenario, I, like let's say I want this one, um, it's now in the scene and um, I'm nice and happy and ready to go um, having that object in my scene, which is cool. Um, but the problem I ran into is when I was making a custom inventory system, uh, which has an exported variable, which is also a texture 2D. Um, I'm not sure officially if this is referred to as a node. I don't think it is, but I'm very new to game dev in general and Godot. So um, uh, perhaps just take that with a grain of salt. But um, the issue that I was having was that when I wanted to add this as a resource, if I can just remember how I did this. Yeah, so it, it, I wanted to add a item as a custom resource that was going to go in someone's inventory. And when adding this custom resource, we, um, as you can see, have the uh, exported name variable and the texture variable. And I can go ahead and drag in this sprite sheet here, which is all great. But then I found that there was no there was none of that like region tab stuff to actually allow me to splice up this sprite sheet. So I was going to go into like Photoshop and do this externally, but I thought like there must be another way. And um, couldn't find anything on YouTube, funnily enough, but uh, found through an old Reddit thread uh, that one way you can do it is by setting this as an atlas texture, which uh, if we take the description, it's a texture that crops out another part of another texture 2D. Uh, which is exactly what we want. So what you want to do is you just want to select this. And then if we expand the resource, oh no, if we just click here and we can add in our texture here to the Atlas. And then from here, we have this nice, you know, edit region button that we're familiar with. Um, we can select the sprite that we want from the sprite sheet and we're all good to go from there.